Hey guys, Suns fan here, and I am very excited to announce that we have released, launched, whatever word you want to use, the live streaming section for the website. So what this video is going to be, I'm going to try to quickly get through this. Uh, some, I'm going to go over the changes for the website itself, and then go through the live streaming section as a whole. So quickly, the news page is now the home page, with a little bit of integrations here and there. Uh, didn't feel like the homepage was really useful in any way. There were too many coming soon things. A lot of it wasn't realistic. Things have changed. So that was axed, and now this is the homepage itself. And you'll also notice that the header is condensed quite a bit, and we will go over why that is shortly. And the new addition on the right side is the streaming sidebar, the ticker, where it shows online, offline streams. The offline ones are actually listed in the order in which uh, the streams were on. So these are the latest people to turn off their streams, if you will. Um, you'll notice some icons here. We'll go over that soon. If you highlight the name of the person, you'll see the ticker run by there. You see the name. Um, a lot of this needs to be updated a bit. I mean, keep in mind this is beta, but for example, the best example right now is Merlini. Uh, it shows that he is American, in fact. And you can go to his Twitch page here, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, website, and it has a brief description of the stream itself. So pretty cool there. All right, so what happens when you hit View More Streams or, better yet, hit the Live Streams button? Well, you get to the Live Stream section. What this is is kind of like a card-based streaming section. So kind of like when you're in-game. Uh, it's divided into online and offline. And again, there are a lot of streams missing. Well, if I scroll down, you'll see that there are quite a bit of streams here. Uh, and we'll get to how we're going to be adding more streams as time goes on. Uh, but these are the ones we have so far. And the filter section I feel like I need to touch on just a tad here. Um, so let's say I want to I want to watch a stream that has an educational aspect to it. I click that, it will sort by anything that has the educational icon by it. Every streamer has at least one icon. Some have three. It's up to three. Um, so this will basically organize it in that fashion, which I think is awesome. All these people are offline, though, unfortunately, so you can't learn anything right now. Now, if you want to do an additional category, let's say select pro player, what it will do is it will sort. It's not going to be educational and pro player. It's going to be educational or pro player. So it will show all the pro players in addition to educational ones. So I think you get the idea of how that works. The other ones, just in case you don't know, Shoutcaster, Tournament Stream, funny stream, the Dota Cinema stream, and just basic community members. And again, we will go over what, uh, how you can add yourself to the stream if you have a stream um, for yourself. But first, let's go over what happens when you click on one of these bad boys. So what I'm going to do is, Merlini just stopped his stream, but we're going to take a look at his stream real quick. So as you can see, it is offline, so just ignore all this good stuff. But what happens is, it turns into kind of like a semi full screen mode where by default actually the chat will come up on the right side so as you can see just a normal chat so nothing special really other than the fact that it's you don't really need to close anything um, then the streaming sidebar on the right here showing any online stream so this functionality is exactly the same as with the ticker on the front page and the stats which I think is the coolest feature of this showing any statistics based on uh, the person's account. Now some people don't have their stats enabled and some people play on so many different accounts that there's no point in having the stats. For those people we disable the stats completely. But for Merlini, since he doesn't smurf, he's a cuddly guy, uh, we have added his stats here. And most people have theirs enabled actually. So you can see his, uh, you know, his record which is kinda ridiculous actually and he's on quite a winning streak it, it seems. Uh, so yeah, so pretty cool information there. Um, so something that people don't realize is yes the chat is here um, but by the time this video is out I believe this will be the default tab but if you go to like a join Dota tab or something or a join Dota stream you'll see that the stats tab is going to be disabled for because well you can't really have personal stats for tournament based broadcasting so anyway aside from that that is just oh actually there is an icon here um, I'm not going to click it. I'm going to let you click that and you can see what it does. I think it's pretty cool. So the whole idea with this is to create kind of a community of casters slash streamers slash whatever for both pro and amateur. So if you want to add your stream, go to our forums and go to the live streams and shoutcasting section. 
and click on the only pinned topic there, the Dota Cinema Community Stream, submit your stream here. And you'll see that there are some instructions that you need to essentially just reply to this with these things that are, well, the required stuff. So, I mean, this is pretty self-explanatory, but that is pretty much it. There are more things coming out very shortly. I do have to give thanks. Uh, firstly, thanks to Color for making the icons for the streaming section. Thanks to iMaster for heading the section completely. He's been putting in all the stream information. It's a lot of data. So thank you to him. And special thanks to both Buka and Pietro, who are our web guys. And I have to say, I have never in my lifetime worked with anybody as hardworking as these guys. And so much kudos has to go out to these guys. They, Without them, this would not be possible. So thank you guys so much. Um, I'm excited for other things that we'll be adding shortly to the website. So stay tuned for that. But if you have any suggestions, feedback, anything like that, just go to our forums. Go to the feedback slash suggestions uh, thread or forum, I guess. And there is a thread there for the streaming section. So let us know. There might be some bugs here and there, but we've been testing this for a little bit now. And it's pretty stable. Some minor tweaks here and there will be need, will need to be made. And But the biggest thing, really, is to add more streams. So if you see something missing, post in this thread and we will add it. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and until next time.